the Jaguar loom. It may look a little primitive, but in its day, it was a marvel. It was the first machine that could weave patterns on cloth automatically. Here's a harvesting machine. It turned the Great Plains into the breadbasket of our nation. It was a technological breakthrough in its day. Museums are filled with machines that were the great inventions of their time. Today, these evolutionary stepping stones seem like curious antiques. Ingenious, but obsolete. This may not look like an antique, but in a sense it is, even though it's only 25 years old. It's from one of the first IBM computers. It could solve problems in a few minutes that would have taken a team of mathematicians months to do. But it used vacuum tubes. Remember your old radio? And while these tubes may not seem so big to us, to an engineer or scientist, they posed gigantic problems. They weren't reliable enough. They used too much energy. And they were too big. You see, all these vacuum tubes, which were essentially on-off switching devices, were connected to the other components by miles and miles of wire. Even though electricity travels at the speed of light, the time it takes to go through the system depends on the distance it has to travel. Engineers and scientists wanted to make computers faster. They wanted to make millions of calculations possible in the blink of an eye. So they needed switches that were a thousand times faster. And since they couldn't make electricity go any faster, they had to shorten the distance it had to travel. It was a monumental task. But thousands of people working in dozens of companies turned the vacuum tube computer into an antique. Today, all those tubes and other electronic components have been compressed onto a tiny chip made from the pure silicon crystal. This chip that can fit through the eye of a needle can do the work of a thousand vacuum tubes. Now those millions of calculations can be done in the blink of an eye, and they can be done a lot cheaper. In fact, the number of calculations that would have cost more than a dollar a couple of decades ago now cost less than a penny. And that means computers are now available to do a lot more jobs, to solve a lot more problems for a lot more people. Computers have become indispensable in an age of information in business, medicine, education, and government. But they're also helping us reach beyond the limits of our senses, probing the universe, or helping us decipher the mysteries of our past. This silicon chip may seem like the last word in scientific achievement. This tiny computer component that can fit through the eye of a needle. But if the last 25 years of progress are any indication, then very soon, like the jacquard loom and the harvesting machine, this computer microcircuit, which helps people process information more efficiently and less expensively, it too will find its place in a museum. That as an artifact from the dawn of a whole new age, the age of information, and it will be remembered, not for what it was, but for what it helped to do. IBM, helping people find the answers.